Okay, I'm Nate, this is Shootfish Productions. Welcome back uh, to those who have been before and to all the new viewers, thanks for coming. Um, just a little um, video today on this uh, 3D printed suppressor for the Crossman 1077. I look a bit Frankenstein with these screws in there. I mean, I just drilled them in because um, that weren't a tight fit. If I printed it again, I think I'd make it a bit, bit of a tighter fit. So um, Daz has got his 1077 here, um, and I've got mine as well. Uh, this simply slip on the end, and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side shot test um, to compare the difference and see how, see how much difference that makes so uh, if you're interested keep watching okay so um this is the 3d printed um suppressor silencer whatever you want to call it and um that's printed in stages and you basically um i mean once it's pushed together it's, it's quite hard to get apart so i'm not going to pull it all apart but basically you print these little bits I printed uh, five of them these little sections uh, and I think obviously the more the more you print the quieter that will get I suppose um, so where I'm not going to glue it together just yet I probably will um, when we're done um, the little end cap just covers it in uh, quite neat like I say if I printed it again I'd probably do it just slightly smaller so it's a bit of a tighter fit on the end there so um, I'll drill these holes in a couple of screws holes it on does the job so um, we'll take it outside now, give it a shoot side by side with Daz's and um, see what happens. Okay, we're outside, um, two days later, um, so the weather was a bit, a bit bad. Um, I've actually glued this together, but I did redo the barrel part. I reprinted one a bit smaller because I wasn't happy with these screws looking all Frankenstein, that was a bit wobbly. So I printed one a bit smaller, that still didn't work. So I printed one, I had to redesign it on um, Tinkercad, made the hole smaller made it a little bit tight and then sanded that out so now that is a really good fit I've glued it all together so it ain't going to fly apart and um, I'm pretty happy with it now so um, Daz has got his gun here um, I'll just get mine and shove it on so that's quite tight and that's quite hard to get off as well so um, there we have it got my magazine ready safety's on um, so we're going to put the camera on the side, so you can, we've got a downrange camera, I don't know why, because we're shooting in a bucket of muck, so you don't hear the noise of pellets hitting the target. Um, we'll take it in turns, we'll do one shot, then two, then three, uh, and just so you can sort of gauge whether this is any good against one we'll vote, and then we'll test it against um, this thing, which this was an adapter that was actually with the gun when I bought it, I bought it used, it's just got a thread, there's a couple of little grub screws that hold it on, and we'll test this one against the, the real deal if you like. So uh, here we go. I'm ready, Daz. Are you ready? I'm so, ready. Take the first shot. Whoa. Are you hitting the dirt? I, I, no, I can't be because I'm hanging off, isn't it? Right, let me just. Uh, oh, my gas is out. Right. Unless I screwed the sight up, messing about. Yeah, it's flinging that. It's going up, isn't it? The time might be getting uh, baffle strokes. Yeah. Are you glued that end cap on? Yeah. Hang on. Might, might have to drill it out. Let's just try it. Yeah. Let's just try it with it. I mean, that is a big hole in it. It looks like a 2-2. Two -two, uh... Yeah, that's it. You're getting yeah. baffle strokes in that. straight enough. I mean, it must just be the the, the thing affecting it. Let's just try not putting it on so hard. <laughs> it's flying all over. So, really quiet, yeah. but the accuracy is shite. So let's try it against the other one. Do you want to try it on mine? Because I've got a fresh one in it. Is it pinging? I think... When you're forcing it on, that's setting it offline slightly. Let's just try this one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is, but my gas is, I think, it's getting a bit low. Yeah, you try that one. That has got grub. Let me do the grub screws down, because it ain't going on properly. Just push it on, mate. I'll put that in later. So, change the rolls. 
let me just put a new uh, I think my gas is pretty out mate to be honest here you go, a little bit of gas come out of it alright, give it a whirl guys Yes. Oh, really? oh, what ammo? Oh, yeah. I just sounded that quiet. Yeah, that is. That's um. Yeah, my gas is sharp. That's, uh... Grab another. I'm hitting the old reset on that thing, but it ain't got enough juice to do it. Yeah, it's a bleeding banana, look at it. <laughs> the fucking way you walked it when you glued it. Oh, that has gone a bit banana. Yeah, yeah, no wonder. That must have been the glue that affected the plastic or in. So, file. Yeah. Don't use banana shaped silencers, they don't work. Yeah. Well, get a metal one. So, uh, I think that can go on the range. Be sure. So, a bit better design and that'll work. I think, um, if I hadn't glued her, that might have been alright. Yeah. But, to be honest, I've got the metal one, I ain't had too much joy with 3D printed silences. Maybe you should put it in a little jig before you glue it. Like ram a rod, straight rod down it. That's probably the type of glue I used. I used um like you hoo glue. Yoo hoo. Right. right, I'm just gonna shoot off another another mag. With my silencer, probably. With my rail silencer. There we have it. Thanks for watching.